BDO Solutions welcomes you to our video series on Microsoft Dynamics Nav 2013. In today's video, we will be discussing setting up customers. Managing customer information is an important part of managing the total sales and finances of your company. Basic information such as name, address, and details, for example, credit limit, invoicing, discount, and payment terms, currencies, shipping schemes, reservation rules, etc. are recorded for each individual customer on a customer card. To set up a new customer, go to Departments, Financial Management, Receivables, and then Customers. From the ribbon, select New. On the customer card, populate the required fields. Number is the customer number assigned by the AR department. Name, address, is the sold to information, which is usually the bill to as well, but can be different. Primary contact number is a pull down list from the contact database in the relationship management area. Enter the contact for billing purposes. Contact specifies the name of the person you regularly contact when you do business with this customer. Use the search name field to search for the customer when you cannot remember the customer number. Balance is a flow field showing the current AR balance. Credit limit is set by the credit department and is based on the currency of the customer. Salesperson is assigned from a table of valid salespeople. Responsibility Center specifies the code for the Responsibility Center that will administer the customer by default. Service Zone code contains the code for the service zone that is assigned to the customer. Blocked indicates the level that this customer can be sold to. Ship restricts orders from being created and shipped but allows invoicing. Invoicing does not allow any new documents to be created or any existing documents to be posted. Cash receipts can still be processed. All prevents any transactions from being posted for this customer. On the Communications Fast tab, more information fields are available to store customer detail. Phone number is the number of the purchaser. Fax number is the fax number of the purchaser. Email is the email address of the purchaser. And home page is the home page of the customer. The Invoicing Fast tab has information specific to invoicing and billing customers. For the bill to customer, you can enter a different customer number. It may be that when you ship to this customer, the invoice should be sent to a different customer. In this case, enter the number of the customer who should be invoiced. The program will enter this customer number on quotes, orders, invoices, and credit memos as a default, which you will be able to change if needed. Invoice copies is the number of copies required, remembering that a laser printed copy does not print in triplicate, so if you want three copies, enter three here. Invoice discount code shows the customer's invoice discount code. You can enter a maximum of 20 characters, both numbers and letters. Copy sell to address to quote form is used to default quote information from either the company contact or the person contact. Check the tax liable box if the company has some federal, state or provincial taxes to charge to customers. Use the tax area code drop down to enter the proper tax table for this customer. Tax identification type specifies the tax identification type for the customer. This information is used for tax reporting. The identification type used for a customer depends on whether the customer is classified as a company or a person. 
VAT registration number specifies the company's VAT registration number. You can enter a maximum of 20 characters, both numbers and letters. Tax exemption is used to enter the state or province sales tax exemption number. RFC number specifies the federal registration number for taxpayers. CURP number specifies the unique fiscal card identification number. The CURP number must contain 18 digits. State inscription specifies the tax ID that is assigned by state tax authorities to every person or co corporation. General Business Posting Group determines which GL accounts the sales will be posted to. Based on the type of customer, selection is made from a list of valid choices. VAT Business Posting Group specifies which VAT Business Posting Group the, this particular customer belongs. Customer Posting Group determines which GL accounts for AR interest are posted to. Customer Price Group specifies the Customer Price Group code. If the customer belongs to a particular price group, the program will use the appropriate unit price on quotes, orders, and invoices instead of the item's standard unit price. Customer Discount Group specifies the Customer Discount Group code. The sales line discount depends on both the customer and the item. The size of the discount is determined by which customer discount group the customer belongs to and which item discount group the item belongs to. Allow line discount allows for potential discounting if needed. Prices including VAT specifies whether you want the price in the unit price field on the sales lines and in sales reports to include VAT. To have the unit price include VAT, please check mark in the checkbox. Prepayment percent contains a prepayment percent that applies to all orders for this customer, regardless of the items or services on the order lines. If you want to set up prepayments for individual items, you should leave this field blank and set up the prepayment percentages in the sales payment prepayment percentages window instead of the customer setup. The Payments Fast tab contains payment specific information for the customer. Application method allows a choice on how the program will apply payments for this customer. Manual means the program will apply payments if you specify a document. Apply to oldest means that if you do not specify a document for the payment to be applied to, the program will apply the payment to the oldest of the customer's open entries. Payment Terms Code is the payment terms for this customer. Payment Method Code, enter the code for the method that the customer usually uses to submit payment, such as bank transfer or check, for example. Reminder Term Codes, select a reminder terms code for the customer. Finance Charge Terms Code is the finance charge terms for the customer selected from a list of valid finance terms. Cash Flow Payments Terms Code specifies a payment term that will be used for calculating cash flow. A payment term code represents a formula that calculates the due date, payment discount date, and payment discount amount. Print Statement Tick this box if the customer wants monthly statements. Last statement number shows the number of the last statement that was printed for this customer. The number of the next statement will be one higher. Block payment tolerance. A check mark in this field indicates that the customer is not allowed payment tolerance. The shipping fast tab contains information on shipments to this customer. Location code is the default warehouse that the customer is shipped from. Combined shipments specifies whether several orders delivered to the customer can appear on the same invoice. Your choice will be transferred as a default to the order header where it can be changed. Reserve specifies whether items are reserved for this customer. 
Shipping advice indicates whether the customer accepts a partial shipment of the order. Shipping method code, enter the default method code. Shipping agent code, this is the default method of shipping for the customer. Shipping agent service code specifies the code for the shipping agent service to use for this customer. Click the field to see the list of shipping agent service codes that have been set up. When you create a sales order for this customer, the program automatically copies the contents of the field to the sh shipping agent service code field on the sales order. Shipping time reflects the time it takes from when the order is shipped from the warehouse to when the order is delivered to the customer's address. Base calendar code specifies the code for the base calendar to assign to your customer. The foreign trade fast tab contains currency and other foreign trade information for the customer. Currency code specifies a default currency code for the customer. To see the currency codes in the currencies window, click the field. This is the currency code that the program will suggest when you create sales documents or journal lines for the customer. Language code specifies a code that determines the language to be used on any printouts for this customer. Bank communication. Select English, French, or Spanish. Check date format. Enter the format to be used on the checks. Check date separator is which character is used to separate the date on the check. VAT registration number is the VAT registration number for the customer. This ends our video for today. BDO Solutions thanks you for joining us and please check out our website at www.bdosolutions.ca.